Valentine's Day. Does everyone have their Valentine's dates? I know I do. If you don't have one, don't worry, because we're going to help you get one. It's going to be a great day, Zaki. It's going to be a great day. The petals of beauty caress the breeze, floating from her heart with joys of wonder. You don't say. I do, and I just did. Happy Valentine's Day, Miss Mackenzie. Be good and be happy, OK? Come on. Hey, this dog knows how to love. <laughs> Take good care of my Zaki. Come on, it's what I do best. Come on, let's go. Good. Not forget to breathe. Good, Catherine. Just a few seconds longer. Remember, only the strong become victorious. Make it a fabulous Valentine's Day. I intend to. My dear little Tammy, your naughty girl running away like that. Oh, good Tammy. Mm. Have a great day. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Mackenzie. Morning, Melissa. Everything's set for the three o'clock. I've ordered coffee and flat water. I want to wait the carbonated stuff because it makes people burp. <laughs> And we'll have a variety of little desserts from Pinot Terras, including some that are fat-free, sugar-free, gluten-free, and vegan. Ugh, cardboard. No, of course not. I would never serve cardboard to our clients. Melissa, I'm joking. How can anything taste good if it's free from all the delicious things we crave? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> you want me to unorder those? Nah, if we ever run out of cardboard boxes, we can use them. Good plan. You're kidding, right? Of course you are. <laughs> what else? Um, your dad called reminding you of his engagement party tonight. Oh, okay. Want me to tell him you're not coming? Can you believe he's marrying a woman after knowing her for three months? You know my granddaddy remarried after knowing his bride-to-be for just a couple of months. That's incredible. I think older people have a different sense of time, so the sooner they commit, the longer they can be together. <sighs> what else? Miss Banda called. She said she wants to see you as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. There you are. Ah. Uh, Have I told you recently how impressed I am with what you've done with the Frost in the Cloud account? No, not recently, but uh, it's always nice to hear. I'll do you one better. You win the Le Chat We Mange Bien account. And I am sure I can convince the board to give you your VP stripes. <laughs> Le Chat qui mange bien has skillfully established itself dominant in the cat food industry by creating meals for. Hey, Dad. Hi, Cat. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. I've been trying to reach you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. Dad, I can't really talk right now. I have the biggest pitch of my life today. Okay, well... I, no, I'm gonna have to call you back. Of course. Promise? I will, I promise. Okay. I miss you. Miss you too. Love you. Bye. So after the first dozen roses arrived, which were completely, stunningly beautiful, Another dozen were delivered an hour later, even more beautiful than the first. <laughs> hey, this sounds serious. I know. 
And he was hinting that it's going to be a really special evening. Do you think he'll do the whole knee dropping thing? A girl can only dream. So, what about you? You still continuing this tradition of being alone on Valentine's Day? I'm a traditional girl. Wait, who is he? <laughs> How can I put this? He's perfect. He's tall, six foot to be exact, blonde, blue eyes, dimples, and has an accent. Oh, I mean, of course he has an accent. It's number 17 on the list, right? 19 to be exact, but who's counting? So why have you been keeping him a secret? Just never came up. <sighs> Seriously, Kat. Internet dating? It's fine. There are plenty of options. There are more liars. And posers. Not Bradley. He is perfect in every way, shape, and form. He's everything I want. Right, you haven't met him in prison yet, have you? Tonight I will. Girls, I think he's my soulmate. Our connection is divine. Excuse me. Careful now. You have the talent and the confidence to share your Ms. vision. Ms. McKenzie, Maurice and Ava are here. Oh, okay. 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 Le Chat qui mange bien has skillfully established itself dominant in the luxury cat food industry. But creating meals for kittens, adults, and seniors has become the norm. Please, continue. Okay. Uh, holistic and organic food is really just a niche that can't be relied on for growth. The challenge is that everyone sees... The challenge is that everyone in the cat food world sees cats... I'm sorry. The cat food... Oh. Uh, the challenge is... Um, I tried my best. I know, I know. They were tougher than I expected. I'll try and get them back. You tighten your pitch. Hi, honey, it's your dad. Is everything all right? I, I never heard back from you. I hope you can make it to our engagement party. It would mean so much to me, sweetie. What? He met her three months ago. Do you really think he knows her? Okay, I'll go. If things go well with Bradley, maybe I'll take him too. Happy? And he stepped up to me and he said, Uncle Bradley? He had troubles with his R's, you see. Oh. He said, I love you more than an octopus. Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> And I said, mm, is that a lot? And he said, no one can love you more than an octopus because he's got so many arms to hug you. Oh, well, that makes perfect sense. Doesn't it? Oh. And it was at that moment I realized I wanted a couple of little Jeremy's on my own. How many exactly? Mm, 2.3. So it's not such a round number. Poor kid, being the point three. Oh, tragic. <laughs> but being smaller, He'd need less food. Yeah, he could just live under the stairs. Plenty of room. I don't even know the house would have more than enough room. White picket fence? A little too cliche. Maybe white and blue? Or blue and yellow? <laughs> I'm open. <laughs> yes, I know. What? Men don't normally talk about kids or their dream homes, especially not on the first date. You're wondering if I'm for real or not. The thought did cross my mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's the truth, Kat. Time is important to me. And I'd hate to waste it. I have my health. I have close friends and a loving family. I'm very successful in what I do. And I'm financially secure. 
But you know what? It's not enough. I'm missing someone in my life to share it with. And that makes me feel lonely more often than I'd like. What is it you want, Kat? Tell me about that yard. <laughs> well, kids need to run, so it'll be a big one. <laughs> Green and luscious, decorated appropriately for each holiday. Yeah, from pumpkins to Santa to American flags. <laughs> yes to all. <laughs> and Santa on the roof with tacky blinking lights to make all the neighbors complain. And most importantly, the yard has to be big enough for Zachy. Oh, naming our kids already? Oh, no, silly. Uh, for my dog. <laughs> you have a dog? Yeah, beautiful Australian Shepherd. Oh, you don't say. Well, you seem surprised. Well, dogs, uh, <laughs> uh, how can I put this? Um, I'm not a good idea, Cat. Dogs are the best idea ever. What do you have against them? Well, don't I? I mean, they, they share, they, they slobber, they're covered with germs. Okay. If you met my Zaki, you would not think this. Let me show you a picture of him. Look at those blue eyes. How can you possibly resist? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, will you excuse me? <laughs> Else, madam? Oh, uh, my, my date went to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh. No, Amy, I'm done with men. There's no such thing as soulmates. It's a stupid notion. You're born alone, you live alone, and you die alone. And if you expect anything else, then you're going to be very disappointed. Good night. Sorry. Oh. Let me buy you a coffee. You found my little Tammy. It's the least I can do. I'm a good listener. Okay. Oh, he doesn't sound right for you at all. But he was perfect in every way. The way he looked, the way he smelled, his voice, and his desire to want 2.3 kids. He was everything that I wanted. But is he what you need? What's the difference? Oh, you can make a pretty little list of all the things you want in a man. But in the end, the heart has needs of its own that your list won't fulfill. So what? Burn my list? You're not aware of this, but today, you spoke to a man who's destined to be the love of your life. Your soulmate, if you will. <laughs> How do you possibly know all of this? <laughs> that doesn't matter. Would you like to be able to identify him? Sure, why not? But you must venture beyond your judgments and expectations. Can you do that, Catherine? I have no idea. Just be aware that it'll be a man who satisfies all your needs but not necessarily all your wants. Okay. Good luck, my dear. You know the best thing about today, Zaki? Is that we always have tomorrow.
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You ran out of me last night. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Because it's Valentine's Day. Does everyone have their Valentine's dates? I know I do. But if you don't, don't worry, because we're going to help you get one. Petals of beauty caress the breeze, floating from her heart with joys of wonder. Happy Valentine's Day, Miss Mackenzie. Hey, Zachy. Good boy, good boy, sit here. Good boy. <laughs> hey, this dog knows how to love. I think you said that yesterday, Roger. I don't remember seeing it yesterday. Yeah, you did. And then you said that's what you do best. <laughs> hey, happy Valentine's Day. Come on, Zach. Let's go. Come on. Do not forget to breathe. Good, Catherine. Just a few more seconds. Remember, only the strong become victorious. What is going on here? Make it a fabulous Valentine's Day. But it's not Valentine's Day. Sure it is. No, because yesterday there was a very big mishap. Again. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see Tammy's behaving herself today. Yes, much better than yesterday. What do you mean? Air quotes. They signify... No, I know what air quotes are. What are you saying? Well, yesterday wasn't really yesterday. You're going to have a very interesting day today, Catherine. Make it a good one. Come along, let's go. Good morning, Miss Mackenzie. Good morning, Melissa. Everything set for the three o'clock. I've ordered coffee and flat water. I want to wait the carbonated stuff because it makes people burp. And we'll have a variety of little desserts from Pinot Terra's, including some that are fat-free, sugar-free, gluten-free. And vegan. How did you know? Ah. Uh, have I told you recently how impressed I am with what you've done with the Frost and McLeod account? Not recently, but uh, it's always nice to hear. <laughs> Hey, Dad. Hi, Kat. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. I've been trying to reach you. <laughs> so after the first dozen roses arrived, which were completely stunningly beautiful, another dozen were delivered an hour later, even more beautiful than the first. <laughs> hey, this sounds serious. I know. Excuse me. Careful now. Me too. Is everything all right, Miss McKenzie? Come here. What would you do if I told you I was experiencing a serious bout of deja vu? Like I know what people are gonna say or do before they say and do it. Okay. Um, is it contagious? In three seconds, Jennifer's gonna scream. Three, two, one. <laughs> That is pretty amazing, Miss McKenzie. It's like you're psychic. Do you know if your clients will like your presentation? The challenge is that everyone, including the Shaki Moshbien, has been putting cats into one big bag. Uh, that is horrible. What? We love cats. We do not put them in bags. <laughs> no, it's an expression, uh, an idiom. You're calling me an idiot? No. No, uh, idiom. Idiom. First you're insulting us. Now you're making excuses. Incroyable. Things can get lost in translation. Your language skills good enough to do it in French? Okay, 
I'll try and get them back. Oh, so did you take her as expected or were there some unusual occurrences? Who are you? Call me Marta, but think of me as your fairy godmother. A fairy godmother named Marta? <laughs> mm. It's a helpful way to deal with your current reality. Yeah, okay. What exactly is going on here? You believe that what you want in a man is what you need. You're like a horse with blinders on. I don't mean you're like an actual horse in any way. I mean you don't see the world as it's meant to be seen. If you take your blinders off, you will see the full potential of life. You've got to be joking me. You will wake up tomorrow morning to discover that it's Valentine's Day. The same Valentine's Day every single day until you connect with your soulmate, which is a man that you've already spoken to today, so it shouldn't be all that hard, really. Listen, Marta, um, I don't believe a word you're saying. I think that this is just some elaborate dream or nightmare, and uh, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and everything's gonna be fine. Mm. So, thank you, and good night. Valentine's Day. Does everyone have their Valentine's dates? I know I do. If you don't have one, this can't don't be worry, happening. Because we're gonna help you get one. Petals of beauty caress the breeze, floating from our heart with joys of wonder. Go on. <laughs> hey, this dog knows how to love. <laughs> Not forget to breathe. Good, Catherine. Make it a fabulous Valentine's Day. But it's not Valentine's Day. Excuse me. Careful now. You too. What I mean is that beyond age, the cat food world sees every cat no different than any other cat. But as we all know, there are many differences, with the biggest one being gender. Men and women have different nutritional needs, and so do our male and female feline companions. Men, for instance, have more muscle, and therefore... Not my husband. <laughs> and therefore need more protein. Women need more iron than men. Cats really no different. Will this change to the kitty food make it uh, cost more to produce? No but you might be able to charge more. Now, Maurice, imagine the possibilities as cat owners go to the shelves to pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats and the pink cans of pink Prissy Kitty cat food for their girl cats. Not cat owners, cat lovers. Precisely. Cat lovers who want what's best for their feline companions. Magnifique. I can't do this again. You have to lift this curse. Good morning, Catherine. Actually, it's very simple. Look around at all the men you've spoken to today. Give them a chance. Discover what lies beyond your expectations, because one of them is your soulmate. But I can't do that. I know what I want. Yes, so you keep believing.
petals of beauty caress the breeze. Floating from her heart with joys of wonder. How did you know? The bigger question is, what does it mean, Kenna? It's about the beauty of the world. Baby smiles and puppy kisses. But it's about much, much more. It's truly about the beauty of the little things that are all around us, but that we ignore. Like? Take these sugar crystals, each individually formed into a perfect little cube. Humans working with God to create stunning beauty. Oh, hey. Hey, Zachy, your mom's Valentine's here. Come on. Day flowers for you. Come on, Zach. Wow, thank you. Inside there. It's always a pleasure. Hey. It's your mom. How was he? Ah, he was especially good today. Oh, was he ever bad? Uh, some days more rambunctious, but today overall in good form. Out of curiosity, it's Valentine's Day. You got any plans tonight? Actually, I just opened the dog rescue. I gave the guys the night off, so I have to be there. The problem with a dog rescue is the enclosures tend to be dark. Now, if they're dark, then the dogs with the dark fur are difficult to see. Now, if they're difficult to see, you tend to not want to adopt them. So, what I did was I built a dog rescue that was really well lit. Therefore, you can see the dogs and, of course, see the joy on their faces when they see you. It's fantastic. Hey, it's a no-brainer. Right, Zachy? Here we are. You can see what I mean about the light. Yeah. Hey, guys. Daddy's home. This is Catherine, Daddy's friend. Hi, guys. This is Zachy. Catherine's little dog. See how good he is? Learn from Zachy. This is Max. Big Max. Oh, God. Max, say hi, buddy. <laughs> say hi, Max. You wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley, huh? Hey, buddy. How you doing? You know, me and my girlfriend are planning on adopting Max. Good, Catherine. Just a few more seconds. Remember, only the strong become victorious. Penny, for your thoughts. My thoughts are not that cheap. Oh. How about a quarter? Uh, I think you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. I think you could be stunningly beautiful if you mastered the scorpion pose. Seriously? Just want you to get your money's worth. Oh. How would mastering the scorpion pose make me more stunningly beautiful? Yoga is not just about the physical cat. Mastering the pose will transcend your physical beauty and make your soul beautiful as well. Thereby making you complete and stunning. Oh. Thank you. Let me order for us. Oh, I, I'm perfectly fine the to order. The lady will have the seafood risotto. I will have the same. Thank you. No problem. I'll be right back with that. It's just rude not to ask. Hold your scorn until you taste it. mistakes. Actually, they aren't. Peter just wasn't right for you. Neither were Kenneth or Roger, but it doesn't make them bad people. Why can't you just tell me who it is? Then we'll be done. And miss all the fun of watching you learn a few lessons along the way? I think not. Think of it this way, Cat. Every date brings you closer to your soulmate. Careful now. Service elevators around the corner in case you didn't know. After all these years, somebody finally pointed me in the right direction. Imagine the possibilities as cat owners go to the shelves to pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats. Make it a fabulous Valentine's Day. Thank you. Excuse me. Never mind.
Sometimes I get a feeling about things. You do? You ready? Okay. <laughs> so, how did you get into this? I got bullied as a kid. Decided to become strong, became athletic, adventuresome, <laughs> and it never stopped. Wait, did you say you got bullied? Yeah, the downside of being a skinny geek. You? <laughs> it's hard to believe, huh? Just a bit. It's true. It all started on the last day in eighth grade. This kid, Bruce Shope, started bullying me on the school bus, talking smack, flicking my ears with his fingers. He made me cry. Seriously? Yeah, I went home that day and told my dad, and he went to give me some weights, and we started training all summer. I actually developed some muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? What? No one ever bullied me again. <laughs> Almost there. Happy Valentine's Day, Cat. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? He grew up in my neighborhood. I've known him since grade school. He's been a jock his entire life. He's never been bullied. Was a bully himself. Don't buy what he tells you. He uses it on all the girls. And it usually works. It was at that moment I realized I wanted a couple of little Jeremy's on my own. How many exactly? Mm, 2.3, so it's not such a round number. Oh, I love unrounded numbers. <laughs> what about their names? Well, uh, Bradley the Fourth, Kevin. Um... And Jeff. Jeff? Yeah, Jessica. Point three. Oh, right. <laughs> Here's the truth, Bradley. Time matters to me. And I hate to waste it. I have my health, my good friends, and my loving family. But you know what? It's not enough. I just really want to share my life with someone. And I feel lonely more than I would like to admit. As for children, 2.3 would be absolutely divine. Marry me. Ladies' room beckons. Oh. No, 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 you stay right there. Would there be anything else, sir? Oh, no, no, my, uh, my date just went to the ladies' room. Sit, sit. It can't be Maurice. It's gotta be someone else, Zachy. I'm so sorry. Are you all right? My ankle. Let me see. Oh, okay, wait, what are you doing? Are you a doctor? No, I've had first aid training. Trust me. You know, I think it's a bad sprain. I'm headed to Memorial Hospital. I can drop you off at the emergency room. I just need to stop by my place and get more flowers. I have a conference in 10 minutes. Then you might want to reschedule it. I'll be better tomorrow. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm fine. Seriously, I can... <gasps> I think you're making a big mistake. It's best to be sure. So today must be a busy day for you. Yeah, it's one of the busiest. One shop, two delivery vans. You know, I usually do the everyday business, but not today. But you're the owner? You seem surprised. No, I just... I just thought that the owners would have staff doing all the deliveries for them. Yeah, I do. But actually, one of my drivers had a family emergency, but I don't mind stepping in and making deliveries. 
It's actually one of the best parts in flower beds. You know, I used to have a job working a big high rise like the one you work in. Yeah. Nice salary, good bonuses. Then one day I realized investment making wasn't for me anymore. You know, when my mom, she passed away, I inherited the flower shop. You were an investment banker and you gave it all up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, I could never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I know. What do you mean, you know? I've been delivering flowers to your office for three years. You like yellow roses, <laughs> but the men in your life go for red. There are no men in my life. And why is that? No, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. It's just that you're an attractive woman and successful, and I just assumed you'd be quite popular, especially on Valentine's Day. <laughs> so, what's this uh, best part that you're referring to? Delivering flowers. It kind of helps reconnect me to humanity. Delivering flowers does that? Uh huh. You know, when you're delivering flowers to that someone special, element of surprise, shock, sparkle in their eyes, the laughter. But it's just pretty amazing. It feels good to know that you were part of making that happen. Although it's almost as amazing seeing people greet their loved ones at the airport. I've never watched people greet their loved ones at airports. You should try it. That right there is Mr. Friedman. You know, every Valentine's, he spends hours deciding the mix for his wife, Evelyn. They've been married 50 years. You know, I think you might need my help. I'll be right back. Mr. Friedman. Hey, it's good to see you. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Evelyn, she likes his peonies. Yeah, she does indeed. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Happy Valentine's. The swelling's gone down, so I think I will live. Well, are you sure you don't want to go to the emergency room? No, I'm sure. And you've got flowers to deliver. Yeah, you're right about that. Listen, thank you. Uh, this could have been a lot worse. Well, it's best to be sure. Best to be sure. Hey, happy Valentine's. You too. To. Uh, is he the one? Next time, be more careful. These flowers is intoxicating. They say it's supposed to have good health benefits. Yeah, like what? Yeah, well, makes you feel good. It's like a natural aromatherapy. What does your girlfriend say about you coming home smelling like flowers every day? <laughs> what does your girlfriend get jealous of you delivering all these amazing flowers to other women? <laughs> Do you have any fun Valentine's Day plans? I mean, beyond delivering flowers? <laughs> Just got laying on the couch with Sabrina, watching some Fight Club. Although she would prefer probably Cujo and Turner and Hooch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, maybe Sabrina can introduce it to Zaki sometime. Yeah, uh, not so sure. She's seen it one too many times.
got a delivery for Melissa. For me? Oh my gosh. Are you are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Don't you just love that? The moment they realize the flowers are for them. Totally. You bought me flowers. Oh, guilty as charged. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you are the best boss ever. <laughs> <laughs> Best boss ever. Who would have guessed? I would. know any better I would say that you were following me you're right I am I hope you don't mind no, it's okay my mother used to say anyone whose job it is to bring other people joy can't be all that bad so I feel pretty safe oh well, that's a relief yeah I was wondering does delivering flowers feel like the next best thing to watching people greet loved ones at airports you do that on occasion I've never met anyone who did that cat Dad? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I've been trying to get a hold of you. I, I'm so sorry. I've been so busy. Uh, you can put everything on the table back there. What are you doing here, Kat? The party doesn't start for a few more hours yet. I know. Um, I, uh... Oh, you're stalking the flower delivery guy. No, I'm not stalking him. Well, then introduce us. No, Dad. Oh, no. Danny, this is my dad, Donald. It's a pleasure, sir. Oh, likewise. Congratulations are in order. Thank you. Maybe you can bring Danny to the party tonight, huh? Oh, excuse me. Dad, why are you doing that? Because you often get in your own way. Love is not that complicated, Cap. But my life is. What if I told you that I was living the same day over and over again? <laughs> Welcome to my world. Seriously, every day I wake up and it's Valentine's Day. So we've had this conversation before. Not exactly. Cat, it's really very simple. It's a cliche, I know, but if you really want something, you've got to go for it. Stop playing games. If I hadn't pursued Elizabeth, we wouldn't be getting married. Here's what happens when you don't take immediate action. Life slips through your fingers. Don't let that happen, sweetie. Come on, boys. Here we go. There you go. Come on. Good boy. Now sit. 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 Good boy. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. Are you following me? Sorry? Come on, just admit it. I swear, it's just a coincidence. Coincidence? Seriously? Or synchronicity? Wow. <laughs> and what's the meaning behind our synchronicity? I don't know yet. Maybe we should try and find out. Are you serious about that? Yeah. I don't know, uh, maybe we can get our dogs together and watch Turner and Hooch or the Doggy Channel tonight. What about your father's engagement party? How do you know I have a dog? I think you mentioned it. Are you sure I didn't? Yeah, maybe maybe someone at the office did. Catherine, may, may I call you Catherine? 
I've been delivering flowers to you, to your office, the past few years, and today is the first time we've ever had a conversation. However, I did try to talk with you a few times, hoping that there was a unique quality underneath that corporate facade, but you never gave me a second look. I'm really focused when I'm at the office. Yes, you surely are. What does that mean? You just can't imagine not showing up to your corporate job. It's your purpose in life. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. We all have to make a living. It's just our approaches to life are completely different. It's just a date with our dogs, you know, not a marriage proposal. <laughs> it's time spent, right? You know, you're gonna find somebody who's more compatible in your world. I did what you said. I went out with men I would never even consider. I went completely out of my comfort zone, and where did it get me? You went through the motions, Catherine, but you never really opened your heart to the possibilities. That is so untrue. Oh, I love watching people greet their loved ones at airports. I was trying to make a connection. By not being authentic? A little white lie never hurt anyone. Perhaps, but it's not a great way to start a relationship. Well, I don't know what else to do. I've run out of men. Consider being less strategic. You want me to change my entire personality? Strategy is the very core of everything I do. I'm sorry, but strategy will not serve you when it comes to love. I don't know what else to do. I can give you one piece of advice that might help you get where you need to be. Have a little fun. I am at the end of my rope, and you're telling me to have fun? Yes, fun. for their girl cats. Imagine the possibilities as cat owners go to the shelves to pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats and pink cans of pink Prissy Kitty cat food for their girl cats. I'm calling it. Tomorrow's another day diet. Imagine the possibilities as cat food owners go to the shelves to pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats and their pink cans of pink Prissy Kitty cat food for their girl cats. Put your hands around me. Now we head to social media to see what Valentine's Day looks like around the globe. From all of us here at ETV to all of you lovebirds out there, happy Valentine's Day. Imagine the possibilities as cat food owners go to the shelves to pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats and pink cans of pink Prissy Kitty cat food for their girl cats. And on Halloween, it has to be the scariest house on the block. Oh, yeah. Witches, goblins, 
dancing skeleton throughout <laughs> the yard. Most importantly, the yard has to be big enough for Zachy. Oh, <laughs> naming our kids already? No, silly. My dog. Here. Oh. Zachy, this is Bradley. Uh, I thought I'd bring him along so you guys could make a little connection. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. I will take him. I'll take her. And I'll take that one. Get it, go, go. Get it. Come on. Oh, get it. No, 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 no. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Yes. You win the Le Chat We Mange Bien account, and I am sure I can convince the board to give you your VP stripes. Is this all worth it? Cat, I've accomplished a lot through the years. But are you happy? Where's this coming from? I'm just wondering if there's more to life than cat food. <laughs> It's not about the cat food, darling. It's what the cat food represents. Happy cats, happy cat parents, happy advertising executives, living comfortable lives. Hi, Dad. Happy Valentine's Day, Cap. Happy Valentine's Day to you, too. I was starting to worry that you fell off the face of the earth. <laughs> I know. Everything all right? No, I'm sorry. I've just been busy. I'm glad you're okay. How are you? Well, for me, any day above ground is a good day. <laughs> and we hit it off, just like that. We had that fun chemistry. A few things in common. It's really all you need. Does she have a good heart? Like your mother. But she will never replace mom. You know that, right? I still miss her. I miss the little things about her. Like the way she removed the pickles from her hamburgers. <laughs> Didn't like them at all. I miss her hand cream. It used to smell like oranges. Tangerines. Tangerines, exactly. <laughs> I'm worried about you, sweetie. I'm okay, Dad. Any man trying to steal your heart? It's complicated. Why? It's too hard to explain. Try. Most people don't know what they want. But I do, to the utmost detail. 
And sometimes I wish I didn't. Because no one measures up. And I don't know how to settle. And time is passing, huh? Sometimes it feels like it's just frozen. The thing I most realized as I got older is that the most precious thing we possess truly is time. If we waste it all on the things we want, we won't have enough of it left for the things we truly need. Flower delivery. Oh, yeah, you can uh, put them in the bathroom. Thank you, Danny. For what? Helping me remove my blinds. The cat food world sees no cat any different to any other cat. But as we all know, there are many differences, with the biggest one being gender. Imagine the possibilities. As cat food owners go to the shelves, pick up their blue cans of Tommy Cat cat food for their boy cats, and pink cans of pink Prissy Kitty cat food for their girl cats. Potential market is beyond imagination. You know what I think? I think you are onto something. Something very, very good. <laughs> Am I? Wait. Really? Yeah, you're buying this? Gender specific cat food? <laughs> Do you realize how ridiculous this sounds? <laughs> Come on, am I wrong? <laughs> Come on, there's gotta be more to life than cat food. Cat? Mm. What in the world? You just lost us a major account. What is wrong with you? Maybe nothing, maybe everything. Or maybe just a realization that I don't belong here anymore. I thought I did. I thought I wanted everything that you had to offer. The creativity, the expense account, the corner office. I'm sorry if I hurt you, Janice, but ultimately this is not for me. <laughs> yeah, you're fired, Catherine. Hopefully I won't see you tomorrow. Hold the elevator, please. Well, that was impressive. Now you're impressed? <laughs> you know, I've been delivering flowers here the past three years, and that's the first time I got a glimpse of the real you. No pretensions, no illusions, just you. What now? Tomorrow's another day. I get up and do it all over again. <laughs> What's funny? I don't think you will. Here. I want you to give these to the receptionist in the lobby. Seriously? Many amazing reactions. Like, some were shy. You could see the spark in their eye, but they didn't quite know how to express their emotions. And then there were those who kind of knew they were getting flowers, and they were just relieved when they actually arrived. 
What about the ones that weren't expecting it? Oh, those were the best. Pure shock. Exactly. Champagne is about celebrating. And my motto is always be ready to celebrate. And what are we celebrating? A successful Valentine's Day and your newfound freedom. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? I had a really good day today, Danny. Thank you. I don't think I could have done it without you. I have to be honest with you. It might be the next best thing to watching people greet loved ones at airports. You did that? Yeah. It can be amazing. In the space of a few seconds, people come together and they emotions overflow with laughter and tears. Love. Just so happy to see each other again. If you can just bottle that joy up and sell it, you could be a billionaire overnight. somewhere with me tonight. Thank you so much. Everybody, my friends, sometimes you just know. I met Elizabeth only three months ago. Her first words to me were, is this seat taken? Oh, I could not believe that this classy lady wanted to sit next to me in a crowded food court. I didn't. She didn't. In fact, she took the seat, carried it over to sit with her friends. <laughs> Can you believe that? But I returned it, and I spoke to you. And I am forever grateful. <laughs> Thank you very much to us both. I like you, Dad. You're a real passion for life. Mm, I still think I have a lot to learn from him. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Sweetheart, I'd like you to meet Elizabeth. Pleasure to meet you. I'm so glad you could make it, Kat. I've heard so many wonderful things about you. Uh, well, welcome to the family. Thank you. I'd like you guys to meet my new amazing friend, Danny. It's a pleasure for you, ma'am. A word of advice, young man. Share your heart. Say, I love you any chance you get. And remember flowers on Valentine's Day. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> so, any thoughts of what you might be doing next? Not a clue. Well, I was thinking of expanding my business, and I realized that I don't have any clue when it comes to advertising. Despite you leaving your position under the most unusual circumstances, I think you might know how to get the word out on the street about my flower business. I might be able to help. Let's get one thing straight from the get-go. Shoot. Big portion of my day needs to be dedicated to delivering flowers. Of course. Market <laughs> research. Well, this is me. Good night, Kat. I'll call you tomorrow. You know, the night is still young. I mean... Kat, it's a little after midnight. We could watch the sun come up. It could be really romantic. Not when you're dead tired. Yeah, but we could... I'll call you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. night, isn't it? I've never even believed in love at first sight. Until last night. 
when I met someone. Truly, it was like a miracle. <laughs> Believe me, people, when they say true love finds you when you least expect it. <laughs> Today's gonna be a good day, Zachy! <laughs> he texted me. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So the first rule in flower business is never let flowers go to waste. Especially after Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. What's the second rule? The second rule is only work with those who share your same passion. Those who excite you. <laughs> Thank you, Catherine. And then there's those that you just can't stop thinking about. <laughs> <laughs>